Hey guys, what's up? So I know I haven't made a video in a while, and um, that kind of sucks. I just haven't got a lot of time to do one, and I have a few made. I just uploading pro the uploading process is, is is takes time and stuff like that. So I just haven't got a chance to do it. But um, now I uh, I figured I make this video, um, and I've been wanting to show you a few things that I uh, did. As you all know that I uh, I do own the Cat 35 CL made by CCM 148 scale uh, as you can see. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you a few customs that I've uh, done to it, done to it, and um, that's about it. So to start on this, it uh, it came with a cab guard on the uh, obviously the cab, but I hated the uh, the look of it. So. What I did is I uh, made cab lights. These are out of Plastruct, uh, 0.80 thickness, I believe is what it is. And um, I r tried to replicate them as much as I could after the 320 cab lights. Um, I think they looked really good. I even went around the uh, top of it. It's not really focusing too well, but you can see that. And I painted them cat yellow, and then on the... Uh, Focuses. Ah, whatever. If you guys can obviously see, I and then I put uh, gray to replicate a light there. So I think that looks a lot better than the cab guard. Um, I'll show you. This is the um, chair. Um, this is the uh, cab guard that came with it. It looks nice, but I just don't like it on this particular machine. I watched a few videos on YouTube of a real 385 CL working, um, and I saw that it had um, these type of lights, and I tried to look at that, and then the 320 cab lights, which is a, you know, like the basic Caterpillar cab lights, and and I tried to make them as realistic and the same looking as those, and I think it turned out quite well. It didn't take me too long to do, but I did I initially had another one made and it broke because it the tops of them right here um right around the uh window are very very thin and when you get to that point it breaks easily so luckily these two didn't but I, the ones i made before did but that's besides the point but otherwise so that was the other uh cab guard that came with it um as you can see i did take off the bucket all you had to do was knock out a few pins um they were just kind of roughed on the sides, and then you just I just hammered them out. Um, this is the bucket that came with it. It's a very nice bucket, a lot of detail on it. It's fairly, fairly sized. It's not too small, but not too big either. And truthfully, I wanted a, a bigger bucket and a smaller bucket. So what this video is really about is uh, these two buckets that I made. Um, the trenching bucket's not as good as the uh, mass bucket. I'll show you the uh, mass excavation bucket first. So I also replicated this out of one of the videos of uh, a real 385C all working. Um, it was an 8 tooth bucket, I believe they had, or or might, might have been a 7. This is a 7. The teeth aren't the best, but making teeth, I, I just haven't mastered how to do that yet. Uh, it's really been a trial and error with it. I don't think these are that bad. The ones I've made before have been, but they're solid. They're not individual, they're one long strip, because I feel like if I did individual ones, if you start using this in a dia or anything like that, I feel like they would break off and they wouldn't come as straight. And these are fairly straight. Um, this is where it would say Caterpillar. I just add that because it's you know it's on a cat machine. Um, side wear plates, uh, wear plates going all along the bottom. This one here is real hard to do because it was I'm using .20 thickness for the wear plates because uh, it's a bigger bucket. And it just it doesn't bend quite as well in the back, but it's uh, it's not too bad. I think it turns out really nice. I like this one a lot. Um, the Lincoln stock, I got that pretty straight and nice. And painted a cat yellow. The teeth aren't the best again, but I I like it. I, I really am proud of this bucket that I made. It's quite big. This is the original one. This is a mass excavation one. Um, as you can see, it's a lot bigger. And then this is the uh, trenching bucket. You know, it's half the size. But I'll show you it on the machine.
my cylinders are kind of weak. I weakened them to like use it a little bit, and, but uh, they just kind of got really weak. Also, as you can see with the uh, bucket linkage, it it is that it does go all the way in, and that's because I did fix the cylinder. And that was probably I like it, but it was probably one of the biggest mistakes I made doing this because I didn't know, but the way CCM makes their cylinders to be able to stay in any position is that the back end of them, the very top piece that's up in here, is fatter than the rest of the cylinder. So when I cut that off, who knew, but the cylinder just slid in and out freely because there was nothing, there was no friction at all. So I had to use a lot of super glue and different things and trial and error and it finally stays, but it's definitely a little jumpy. Um, so that's the bucket. I think it looks real nice. It's definitely wide, um, but it it looks real nice. It moves all the way back, and it uh, curls all the way in, which is nice. And it does not touch the boom, so it, it's definitely a nice bucket, I think, in my opinion. But you know, guys, uh, please uh, leave comments on how you like it. Um, I always like reading those. Um, tell me what you think of it and stuff like that. I'm definitely trying to get better at making stuff out of plastic. Um, it's it's definitely it's something you got to do a few times to learn. Um, the first time I did a bucket, I gave up on making teeth and I just made it a grading edge bucket because I just knew at that point I. The making the teeth part is, is definitely the hardest part of the whole bucket. Um, making a bucket, it took time. This bucket took me about, uh, I'd say, three to four hours. Um, just the construction process of it. The paint, obviously, was about a day to let dry. Cat paint doesn't dry quite as fast as others. Um, now I'll show you the... Trenching bucket. I don't like the trenching bucket quite as much, but um, it doesn't look too, too bad. Curls uh, almost as far, not quite as far as the other one, but that's just because of the size, too. It doesn't look as much, but um, it does curl all the way out just like the other one. I was thinking about doing a review on this model, but there's already two up. Uh, Rabbit Smeller 400 did one, um, and... Uh, 328 DLCR made one, so I just I was thinking about making one, but then you know there's two great ones already up, so it's pointless. <laughs> but um, I do want I did want to show you the customs that I did on it. I think the bucket looks fairly good. The linkage I don't like too much on the on my bucket part, um, just because it looks a little too big for it, like too much right there. Uh, other than like the real one, uh, the one that came with it, I should say, which is. is a little bit smaller as you can see the holes are closer to the bucket which makes it look a little more realistic but I don't really care I think it still looks good um, that's a four tooth bucket as you can uh, see and I think it looks you know not too bad but otherwise uh, guys tell me what you think please of uh, my customs that I've done to the 3D5, uh, comment on the buckets. I like to hear those and, and read them and stuff like that. Um, you know, if, if you have a 3D5 and you're interested in one, message me. I'll, we'll talk. I can make one to sell. I can make a couple of them. Um, if you want, if you have a request on something to make, I could try. I could see, you know, if I can get it done. Again, I'm not the best at it. I've only had Plastruck a little less than a year. And, um, I'm still learning on how to do it. I had definitely a big period of time where I didn't make anything, and then now I, I figured I'd get back into it. But um, message me and uh, comment on the buckets, and then personal message me if you are looking uh, for something you'd like to buy, attachment-wise. And um, I'm going to be doing a collection update soon, and um, that'll show all my machines. And if uh, you like any of the other customs that I've done, uh, message me on that. But... Other than that, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll try to be getting back uh, into the swing of making videos uh, more regularly. 
But um, thanks a lot. Sorry for the period of time between the videos and all that. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and stuff like that. And um, we're almost at 200 subscribers. So let's get there. That'll be uh, really cool. And, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes and where that goes from there. And maybe, you know, one, one of my subscribers could possibly get something, something for free, like a giveaway. I, I'm not sure yet, though, so don't hold me to it. But I, I might do something like that if I get to 200 subscribers. But otherwise, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and um, I'll be making some more videos soon.